Blog with Jags. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Jags here, and today we have a very special little video because we're back to vlogging again! Yay! Great! Um, anyways, yeah, uh, it seems that everyone has been wanting me to do a lot more vlogs, and so here we go. This is going to be the very first one um, for quite some time, unless you count the ones I did, like, I don't know, a couple of months ago, uh, vlogs. They're more podcasts, but we're back to doing official vlogging again. But today's episode is going to be more based upon Q&A. Uh, we had some community members ask some questions, and I'm going to go ahead and read them off and try to answer them to the best of my knowledge and ability. So, uh, without further ado, let's get uh, started. Alright, so first question comes from community member Expert Amateur. He asks, are you a dog person, a cat person? Um, both, really. Um, honestly, if I had the choice, I would have all animals. Um, I love all animals very, very much. So, um, I, I would never be like that weird hoarder person that goes ahead and just has a bunch of like too much of like one animal in particular. Um, although that's kind of ironic for me to say because I know back at my parents' place we have a lot of animals. Um, we have multiple dogs, we have multiple cats, and we have birds, we have a turtle. So you know, there's um, there's a lot going on there. But as of right now, I only have a cat but um, and two guinea pigs technically. But uh, if I really had to choose though, I would pick a dog. Um, I actually do plan on one getting you know, a little uh, pup for myself, uh, hopefully pretty soon in the future. So, you know, I, if I had to choose, I would choose Don. All right, his next question is, uh, have you ever visited a country outside of your continent? Uh, simple answer, yes. Long answer, yes. Um, <laughs> so the furthest I've ever gone away really um, was to uh, Israel, actually. Um, it was a really, really fun trip. It was a family trip. Uh, my parents and my brother went along, um, obviously, with me because, well, they brought me. Um, it was like one of those tour guide uh, visits. Um, it was a lot of fun. Got to experience a lot of the uh, Israeli culture. Got to experience all the authentic cuisine. Got to go zip lining. Um, got to see some of like the most like ancient like attractions that Israel has to provide. Um, definitely really, really cool. Uh, so I would really recommend people to actually go at least visit Israel once at least. Um, I would like to visit the world, like everywhere part of the world at least once. Um, so, you know, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, that would probably be the furthest I've ever gone was Israel. His last question. Um, what advice would you give yourself in a year? Um, I guess really just don't give up on what you're doing. You're going to experience a lot of uh, technical difficulties, um, physical de uh, difficulties, and a lot of mental uh, difficulties. And you know, from what I've been experiencing since we started off here at Red Jags, I've had a lot of mental, um, you know, like I don't know. It's kind of been like. I guess mental obstacles, I guess you can say that I had to overcome, and it's been, sometimes it's been very difficult, sometimes it's just, even for today, trying to make this video, I just did not feel encouraged to even really make anything at first, but, you know, eventually when I was just like, you know what, just go ahead and do it, and the more I start doing this, I was just like, alright, I'm actually having fun doing this again, but I guess the one thing I'd really tell myself is, you're always going to experience a lot of obstacles, but in the long run, you're doing this for you, you're doing this to have fun, you're doing this for the Red Jags community. And the community is what keeps me humble, it's what keeps me strong, and it's what keeps me motivated to continue doing on, you know, all this work in general. Because, you know, we can, Kevin and I can be, you know, pumping out videos left and right, like 24-7. But it doesn't mean anything if we don't have you guys in particular. And because of you guys been helping out tremendously in any way, shape, or form, it's what keeps us motivated. It's what keeps us going. 
And that's just one thing I really got to remind myself, especially for the future. If I end up watching this further down the future, a couple of years down the line, which guarantee I will, because I like watching and reviewing my content to see how far I've, you know, how far I've come uh, as far as being able to speak properly to just a camera um, or to you specifically. Next question. Next question comes from, uh, comes from, the next comment comes from community members of city. City asks, where do you see Red Jags in the next five years? That's actually a really good question because that's more of a uh, typical business question, which are questions I personally love. But honestly, for business, it's a little bit easier being able to really kind of, especially for me, being able to fast forward and seeing where I really want to be. But, you know, for a YouTube channel, I mean, it, it just really depends. I it, There's so many variables that really factor into this. Like, how hard am I going to continue working? Um, how hard is Kevin going to be working? How hard is the community going to be working to help us out? Um, there's a lot of factors that really come into play once we're looking into a long term or even a short, in this case, more of a short term uh, goal or milestone or whatever you want to call it. But if I really had to say uh, what my goal would be in five years or where I would like to see Red Jags in five years, um, I would definitely want over a thousand subscribers. I know it takes a lot of people a pretty long time. I'm, I'm more than confident we will hit that before five years. Like I said, it's kind of hard for me to really determine what I would like to see in five years because I don't, I really don't know where I would even be in five years. Like we could still be exactly where we are right now or we could actually end up surpassing like five grand in like subscribers. I have no idea, uh, which would be phenomenal if we can hit five grand by year five. So you know what? Milestone challenge. I would honestly really, really like to see things pick up a lot more. Um, I would actually, if we end up getting a lot larger, um, you know, I think it'd be pretty cool to have more like Red Jacks community meetups um, since the uh, first official one is actually going to be uh, this year uh, in May uh, for Fan Fusion 2020 at the Phoenix Convention Center in Arizona. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. We are going to have a couple of community members actually join us. Uh, along with uh, Kevin's flying out here. It's the first time we're going to be meeting each other too, which is really exciting, so stay tuned for that video. Um, and, you know, I'm just really excited for that, but I would like more meetups if possible. Um, I, I just really would like to be able to uh, connect uh, as much as possible towards our community. Um, I know it's going to be a little bit more challenging uh, the more we grow because who knows, maybe it's more than possible more and more people uh, end up joining, more people want to talk to us. Um, I, I don't know what's going to happen. It, none of that could happen or we could just blow up like that and we don't even know what to do with ourselves. It can become very overwhelming and very uh, emotionally draining, uh, especially since I know when we reach those milestones and stuff like that, I'll be crying like a little baby. Um, believe it. Uh, but. I just want to see everyone continue having a good time overall. I want to see everyone continue making brand new friends. Um, I just really want everybody to get along with one another and just appreciate, um, you know, the hard work I do for you guys, uh, all the hard work Kevin does for you, and obviously all the hard work and dedication, once again, that the community does to support all of this. So that's what I would say what my, my year five goal is, is just all of that hopefully it happens and you know we won't know until the time comes so we'll just keep on working our butts off and we'll get there eventually so on to the next question uh, next question comes from a uh, community member uh, expert amateur once again and he asks what was your first video project how did you get doing it uh, were you ever nervous at all about uh, doing it in general how long did you, or how long did it take for you to feel confident with your work? Expert, this is a phenomenal question, especially for me, considering, as you know, 
Um, I am a professional videographer and uh, video editor. It's what I want to do for my life. It's what I do for my uh, personal um, independent contracting work. But um, I guess to, just to start off in general, my very first video project ever, um, I guess if we're looking really in the long run and the more professional sense, uh, my very first one was a music video I did for uh, some friends of mine in a local band out here uh, called Reason Unknown. And that was the very first project I've ever done. And getting everything together was definitely a lot more interesting. I've never actually filmed anything professionally uh, at that time, but that's what got me really motivated into filming. Uh, got me more into videography, learning more about cinematography, and especially what I want to completely 100% excel in is video editing in general. Something about it is just very fascinating, but uh, that music video um, did really, really well uh, overall. But um, I think it ended up getting like one anywhere between 1.2 and 1.3 thousand views in less than a week, I believe. Uh, which is absolutely nuts, especially for the very first time I've ever filmed anything professionally. Um, but it was a lot of fun filming it. Um, were you nervous at all about doing it? Uh, yes, I was, I was pretty nervous. Um, I already knew how to handle this camera very well, and for those who don't know, I'm currently using a, a Rebel EOS T4i um, for my audio equipment and everything. I'm using a Rode microphone with a dead cat filter. Um, if you guys would like to know what equipment I use overall, by the way, for all my studio gear set up uh, to make these videos, to get the audio as clear, what microphone, computer stuff I have, let me know because I can definitely uh, make that into another video if you guys are interested. But, um, you know, I've been learning so much on how to use this camera in general for, because uh, I started off with professional photography and I kind of got bored of it after a while. Still do it every now and then. But uh, not as much unless I get paid for the work. Um, otherwise, I don't really continue on doing that that much. But um, I was definitely pretty nervous. Uh, I didn't exactly know how to work uh, lighting settings too much. Um, I already have my own professional lighting equipment and everything too. But um, I was still teaching myself how to do photography a little bit better. So I was still working with lighting. I didn't really know anything about audio at the time. Um, I obviously just started with video, but thankfully um, getting the video they wanted was a little bit easier considering they wanted more of an old school Rancid feel. Um, and for those who don't know who Rancid is, go look them up. They're an amazing band. Um, but they wanted um, a music video. Uh, but yeah, the um, music video was more of a an old school classic uh, punk rock video. So in that case, um, there's a music video Rancid had that uh, Reason Unknown took a look at and they're like, hey, so this is really cool. It's all in black and white. Uh, they filmed in this studio. We want to film in our recording studio. So I did that, got all my gear set up and it honestly, it turned out phenomenal. Um, it made things a little bit easier knowing I was already really good friends with the band as well. Um, I already did photography work and everything for them, so I was already comfortable working with them since I was pretty close to them in general already. So um, I was still nervous though because I wanted to make sure I gave them the product that they were looking for. And it seemed to work out beautifully because like I said, surpassed a thousand views easily minimum in less than a week. So um, I, I'm just really happy that went over well. Um, who knows, I might be working with them in the future. Uh, just kind of depends on you know, what they want, but that goes for anybody in general. How long did it take for you to feel confident with your work? <sighs> um, there's different levels of that, to be honest. I'm more confident in the work I do now, but I still, in a sense, lack confidence in the work I'm doing still right now. Um, it just really depends on what the project is, how enthusiastic I am about doing it. Um, also, kind of comes down to, <laughs> from time to time, I hate to say it, uh, how much is the, um, the artist, aka moi, being paid for the work I do. Um, majority of the time, yeah, it, it is about money because I do it professionally, but it's really about how 
close I and how much of a connection I can get with the client or the person I'm helping out in general that makes me feel very very comfortable um, I'm a very social butterfly in general I love talking to people it's what I do for a living that's why I live stream as often as I as I do or try to um, but you know I love talking to people I love getting to know like brand new people in general I have no problem walking up to people and just saying like hey what's up how's it going my name is yada 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 and I just spark conversations like that. It's just in my blood. But um, as far as doing video work in general, it does take a little bit of time. You are going to be nervous. You're like, oh my god, like how picky is the, the client going to be? Or is like, are they going to like the work I do? Um, and for all artists out there, and we all know this, who take our like, careers and our hobbies very seriously, we're never 100% really truly satisfied with our work. There's always something we find out either now or a little bit later after reviewing our work. We're just like, eh, I could do so much better. And you know, it's, it's just really a, a hit or miss. But um, you do get, it does, just it gets better over time. That's really what it comes down to. Give it time, you'll feel more comfortable. I was extremely nervous when I first started. Um, as much as I don't like to admit it, I, I was very nervous even though I still have, you know, me being as crazy and energetic as I am. But um, yeah, I hope that answers your question, expert. So, on to the next question. Next question comes from uh, Kyle Lu. What is your favorite game you have played ever? Um... I guess it really depends. If we're talking about since we are a or started off as a gaming channel, um, I guess it would. It's hard to say because it's like, are we talk based upon like what console? Are we talking about like Xbox, uh, PlayStation? Are we talking about like Nintendo? Are we talking about PC? Are we talking about Game Boys? I know that's still Nintendo, but still, um, I don't know. It's it's really hard to actually say. Um, but to give the true, honest answer to you guys, I generally just really don't play video games, uh, outside that often of YouTube. Um, kind of the same thing that, like, I know Markiplier says as well, but, um, I just really don't play as much anymore, because, I mean, there's been so much going on in my life in general that has changed, and either I just don't have time, or it's just, I don't know, I... It's just something about it. I have a hard time going ahead and just playing a video game. And even if I do find the time or, you know, I feel up to it, I can't play for that long. Like, I can only maybe play for like an hour, two hours max. Um, yet, yet again, it kind of depends on what kind of game it is, too. Certain games are a little bit easier for me. But um, I really don't play that many video games, to be honest. Uh, as ironic as that might be, considering of all the gaming stuff we do. But yeah, Kyle, I'm sorry that uh, I wasn't able to answer your question uh, that thoroughly. Um, like I said, it's just I haven't really done much and I really don't play much. So um, yeah, sorry about that. All right, and the last question we have here is from uh, City once again. Uh, asking, what is one thing you've learned since you and Kevin started Red Jags? Um, honestly, there's there's a ton that I've learned. Um, there's just through everything, through the community that we have, through uh, everything that I learned just as the series continue going on, I feel more comfortable talking. I feel more comfortable doing commentary. I know the same probably goes for Kevin as well. But yet again, I can't speak for him because he ain't here. Uh, but, you know, there's... There's a lot, a lot of things I've... I guess, I don't know, it, it's really hard to say because... I, I can't say I haven't learned anything because I know that's not true, but... Um, I guess what it really boils down to is the fact that just having this community in general... Uh, you guys have helped me out through a lot of craziness. Uh, you've always been there through, uh, you know, the worst and the best of times. Uh, even though I know we literally only just started about three months ago. But I mean, the amount of work and the amount of dedication and just, just for the fact that you guys are always there to support us 
um, it definitely helps us tremendously. You guys are always teaching us brand new things every single day. Um, but I mean, what? It, I guess another really thing is, is that it kind of helped me learn to feel a little bit more comfortable about doing vlogs like this. Um, since I'm always a little iffy about talking to a camera, but you gotta get used to it. It's what I'm gonna be doing for quite some time, uh, and hopefully until the end of time. Uh, but you know, there, there's always so many brand new things I learn every single day. It would be literally impossible to uh, to mention any of them or to list them all. And yeah, I wish I could go into more in the detail about that too, city. But like I said, like. I learn so much every single day just from the studying that I do about editing videos, about creating videos, about learning how to use my camera better, to um, better commentary, uh, being a little bit more comedic once it comes to the work we do. But yeah, and between that and you guys teaching us something new every single day as well, that's honestly all I can really say to be honest with you. But um, that's all the uh, time I actually have for this video. Uh, so thank you, Expert, thank you, Kyle, and thank you, City, so much for your uh, questions. Um, please, I really hope that you guys uh, continue to ask uh, many more questions because I guarantee you probably have a lot more answers uh, for all these questions you may or may not have. Um, but until uh, till the next episode, the next vlog, uh, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to hit that little notification bell up there as well so we can keep you guys posted. Uh, but until then, I'll see you guys later.